Hey there, it's Patty Davis with Crooked Tree Creations. Today I'm going to show you how to make a triple flower wreath that can go from summer into fall. Let's get wreathing. Okay, so let me show you what colors I'm using today in my flowers. Uh, this is going to be 10 inch poly burlap, okay, and I have some cream here, I have a dark pink. I have a light pink, and then I have this chocolate brown. Um, I used a, an awful lot of that roll. So I'm gonna use this olive green for the leaves, I think. We'll see what I'm gonna do later. I haven't decided yet. But, and then I'm for the center, I'm going to use just a brown burlap. That's this comes in a six inch roll it used to come in in a four inch roll and i have a little bit of that four inch roll left but i have not been able to find the four inch i got it in the six inch and it works great okay so to get started what i am using i have these eight inch ring wreath forms from the dollar tree took this plastic canvas from Joanne Fabrics. This is the five mesh. Uh, you could also buy the seven mesh. The seven mesh has smaller holes. We want the larger holes because it'll be a lot easier to work with. Okay. What I did, I just traced the inside of this wreath form on the plastic canvas using a Sharpie. Okay. And I came up with this. Now, also what I did, I just kind of took it, used my cutting mat to find the center. I used, believe it or not, I just used a paint can lid, okay? <laughs> this for spray paint. So, and I just traced out kind of a center circle just to give me a guide because you know me, I love my guide uh, circles, I mean lines, whatever I need, just to know where the center is, things like that. Okay, and then I'm just going to attach this using four inch zip ties. So here is my form that I've already done. Okay, and you can see this outside is a little bit bent, it's a little distorted. I'm not going to worry about that. What I'm most concerned about, this center circle is even. It's going to work. Okay. I'm going to show you how I'm making the petal using the cream and the brown. So, first of all, you make a triangle. Okay. It does not matter. You can cut this with a wood burning tool if you care, if you want, or you can use a rotary cutter. I just use a rotary cutter. I did use a wood burning tool just because I didn't want it to look all frayed whenever I'm showing you this, but it does not matter if it frays, okay? Because none of the edges are gonna show in this petal. So you're in this, you have this triangle. I'm gonna take the top, bring it down, and you're gonna leave probably about a half an inch here, okay? Then you're going to fold it down again, still keeping that half an inch, at least a quarter of an inch, and then you're gonna wrap it around and pull it together, okay? Now I am just using some clothes pins, but I'm just gonna keep it together like that, okay? I'm gonna do the exact same thing with the brown. I'm going to take it up, bring it down, leaving about just about a half an inch, fold it down again, and bring it together. Okay, so we have two of these. Now notice, it would be a little easier for you to see it with this one. See how this has the double side? This is like the single side. 
when it comes to the brown, you want that single side to be up front. You don't want to see that double side, okay? So it really doesn't matter for the one that's in the center though. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the brown and I'm gonna wrap it around the color that's in the center. Okay, kind of push it up, make sure it's kind of up as far close to the top as you can get it. So I'm gonna get a six inch zip tie here. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to make sure that I am six inches from the top to where I att attach the zip tie. Now, if you want to use your uh, rubber bands, because a lot of people like to use rubber bands, go ahead. But I'm just going to use a zip tie just to kind of make sure it's good and secure. Um, I don't know. I have a weird fear of rubber bands, so I'm staying away from them. But, okay, this is your finished pedal. Well, take off. Trim off the zip tie, and then you want to trim this off. Okay, I'll just do it right here. I have about a half an inch from the bottom, and that is your pedal. You will need 11 of these for each flower. Okay, so here I am with my distorted 8 inch wire form. I already have the uh, the plastic canvas on there. What I'm going to do, I am going to attach these to the form right, actually just right in from where this guideline is because I want them to be as close to the center as possible. Like I want the tip of these to come like almost to the center. So I'm going to attach them right about there. Okay. Again, I am making sure that I do not have the double sided part of the outside to the, towards the front. We want to make sure we have this single side towards the front. Now the next hole that I'm going to use, I sometimes I will use the exact same hole I came out of on this side, or I will go to the one right next to it. So we want to make sure they're nice and close together simply because we want the petals like touching. We want them nice and close. So the greening pins that I'm going to use uh, in this to attach the burlap to the styrofoam disc I need to use some greening pins and the ones that I'm able to find are a little bit on the long side so what I'm going to do I'm going to use my wire cutters I'm going to cut these down and I'm going to cut them over top of my garbage can I'm going to take maybe an inch off just because I'll show you real quick. I'm gonna cut these down kind of at an angle. Okay, and so let's compare what I cut off and what I have, what the original size was. And I'm gonna put this in one of these discs and see it's, well, you can see I already put a wire in here, but if I use this longer one, 
there's a good chance it's going to come out the bottom. So I'm going to use this cut down one so there's less of a chance of it coming out the bottom and we're all good and safe. So I'm going to show you how to put the burlap on one of these discs. But for this one, you can see I already put some wire in here. What I used is this wire here. You can see I got a lot of it used. Uh, it is from Joanne Fabrics. It's just called Stem Wire. Now they have another stem wire. They don't have a gauge on these, but there's another stem wire that is much thicker, much more difficult to use. It will work. I promise you it'll work, but the thinner one, if you can take a look and yeah, take the time to look and make sure you get the thinner one. I didn't take the time. I didn't think there were two different um, gauge wires, but there are. So you make sure you get the thinner one. It's a lot easier to work with. Okay. But what I did, I cut that in half. Uh, these are 18 inches long. So I cut it at nine inches and just put it through the top so it comes out the back okay that is the easiest way to do it however if you forget like i do a lot i did here i had already made one of these centers okay and i forgot to put it through the top first so what i'm doing i the other half I cut and I just used the cut down floral pins to stick that in there. Okay, nice and simple, but it's a lot easier if you put it through in the first place and then you just shove these wires down and so they're out of the way. Okay, so let's get to putting the burlap on. I got this styrofoam disc that I got from Joanne Fabrics. There were six in a pack. They are about four inches wide, um, just under four inches. What I did, I took a kitchen, uh, just a sharp knife. I got it from the Dollar Tree and just kind of shaved some of it off the top and then rounded it out. You could use sandpaper or believe it or not, you can use another piece of styrofoam to kind of sand it down. And no, this isn't perfect. I'm not, we don't need perfect, but just kind of wanted these edges to be rounded a little bit. Okay, so what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna take this piece of six inch brown burlap and I'm just going to start rolling. Okay. Kind of at an angle. Let's stick it in here. Kind of right there at the center. Use my cut off greening pin and I'm going to stick it in here at an angle. Let's do this way. Kind of right there at the center. Okay, I'm just going to keep turning it kind of and spin it around as I'm going. So also as I am going, I'm going to use a glue gun. I'm going to add some glue to it and I'm going to glue this down. So I'm going to go nice and slow so I don't burn myself. And then as you go, you got to kind of undo that, <laughs> spin it around. See, that's one good thing if you had like somebody there with you, if you had a friend, a nice little crafting friend that you can share spinning that spinning this off as you're going but just keep twisting 
and then you're going to spiral it around, gluing as you go. So we're almost there at the end, so I'm just going to cut the burlap. Take another greening pin. Stick that through. And just to make sure that's good and secure, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it right there at the end. Okay. And there you go, there's your center. Pull these back out, and this will go through the center of the flower. Okay, so now all we have to do is attach the center that we made to the flower. And I'm gonna go right here through the center, through all of this mesh, kind of the best I possibly can and out the other side of the plastic canvas. And we just twist and if it needs adjusted to the left or right, go ahead and do that. But I think we look pretty good. So now I have this one, I have this one made with dark pink and I have this one with the light pink and we are going to attach all three to a 14 inch wire form from Dollar Tree. Okay so I've zoomed out quite a bit because I want to make sure you can see what I'm doing here. Okay I have my three flowers and I have my 14 inch form from the Dollar Tree. So what I am going to do, I am going to, first of all, I wanna make sure these are all gonna fit. So I think we're gonna be okay. They look like they're gonna fit just fine. Um, I'm gonna put leaves on after I get them on to the form because I wanna make sure um, where I'm going to put the leaves is going to hide what part of the form is showing. So you can see I have the crossbars here. I'm going to use the crossbars of my eight inch form and kind of attach it right there. And I'm just going to use four inch zip ties for that. Let's flip that over. Okay, so right here I have, I'm going to like kind of crisscross here and I'm going to crisscross right in here. That way there is no sliding or anything. Okay, then do the same thing right here. Okay. So you can see it's on there nice and good, nice and sturdy. So I'm gonna go to the next one over. It really doesn't matter if you're using the dark or the light or anything like that, but just gonna do that. And again, I'm gonna attach the crossbars and the crossbars.
Okay, so you can see we had to put some of the petals on top of the other petals just to kind of get it to kind of go right, which is fine. Kind of looks like they would in nature. Okay, so now we're going to make and attach the the leaves. I am not going to attach them. Yeah, all I want to do, I just want to do your typical sunflower petal. Okay. But I don't want to attach them here like if they're coming out of the big form. I want to attach it to one of the flowers. I might actually even do one on this side, one on this side. So I'll just do two, two, and two. Okay, so a couple of days have gone past and I'm just not happy with my leaves. They just don't seem like leaves. They just look like I'm trying to um, cover up this wire is what it looked like. So I'm fooling around with how I want to make this look more like leaves. So what I did, I pushed this one over a little bit. Um, kind of push this one up but I am going to put a third one here to hide the form um, yeah I don't want that wire showing so see how this is up high you know kind of overlapping the other flower so I'm going to put another leaf under here and I'm going to go all the way in to like the middle ring of this eight inch form okay let's go ahead we'll just make another sunflower style petal and again I am not I didn't put my zip tie in first put your in zip tie in first okay go all the way to that inner ring Okay, got that zip tie started. So again, I'm gonna make a little sunflower petal. And what I'm gonna do, I want this to be right on top of the other one. So I'm gonna go down just a little bit, have that smaller side go in behind the other and see how it's right on top of the other one. Okay, that way it's good and doubled. It'll be harder to see through. Okay, so I'm going to put that into my zip tie here. Okay, kind of get that covered up with that. It's hiding the wire. And then these leaves are sticking out more so they look more like leaves than they than just a cover up. Okay, I think this is looking much better. And I'm gonna do that in these other two sections here. Let's 
So this is our finished product. What do you think? Not bad, right? I think this is really cute. I love this daisy chain petal. I think it turned out great. Uh, the leaf placement I had to change up. I like this a little bit better. It's looking more like leaves. It didn't look like leaves before. So I really like this. Um, this thing is huge. It's probably about, um, w with the leaves sticking out like this, I'm saying it's about 28 inches wide. So it's, it's a pretty big, big reef. So, but I think it's definitely wonderful. It is a great transition into fall because uh, it's still very colorful, but we got the browns going in there. Uh, the darker green so we're getting into fall but it's not super fallish so I think this is perfect my name is Patty Davis I'm with Crooked Tree Creations I hope you enjoyed today's video and I will see you again